What's up, fam of Liberty and everyone else watching this video who is not following our channel for some unfathomable and inexplicable reason? It's your new best friend, Big Sarge, or the artist formerly known as Admin Tim, founder of the Sons of Liberty. If you're new to this channel, let me say categorically up front, fuck Donald Trump and fuck MAGA traders. I know some of y'all MAGA fuckface ass clowns are going to end up in my comments section, but most of the time the shit that you post is so bigoted that it gets filtered into my holding section. And since this ain't a safe space for bootlicking simps, for a wish.com fascist oligarch and wannabe authoritarian tyrant, I just bin your comment and ban you because I don't owe you fucking traders a platform. Now, everyone watching knows where I stand on things. If you, like me, are sick and tired of cosplay it's turning this country into a laughing stock, then stick around. Maybe consider following the channel after you watch the video. Today's video, we're going to talk about Christian nationalism again. I have several videos on the subject, and Admin V has been posting a lot about Christian nationalism on the Sons of Liberty Facebook page and also on her own personal page because she thinks that having knowledge about this stuff is still important, and so does the rest of the Admin team. If you, like me, are an atheist, then heed my warning up front. I don't care what your beliefs are. There are plenty of liberal, progressive, and leftist Christians. Hell, Jesus was a brown-skinned socialist from the Middle East, so when you start shitting on Christians and mocking them, I need you to understand that you drive people away from our cause. And right now, the divisiveness is killing us. Probably literally in the next few months. Now, if you've seen our videos and social media posts before, then we've said it a thousand times. Both Admin V and I grew up in conservative Christian families, in a conservative Christian town, in conservative Christian states, and we have met Christian nationalists back then and obviously in these dark times. They may not know that they're Christian nationalists, but they are Christian nationalists. Here are some things that we think you should know to fight back. America was not founded as a Christian nation. It was founded as many things. A place to send prisoners, a place to flee a country with a nationalized religion, a place where all the land wasn't already owned by rich white people, by people who wanted to become rich white landowning people. A place for capitalism, never mind that the land was already occupied. White people, white people, and then they took what they wanted. You know, like Nick Fuentes and all the other incels now shouting, your body, my choice, but I digress. Our founding fathers were not Christians as we know them today. America was created during the Age of Enlightenment by enlightened thinkers. Most of the people we consider founding fathers were some form of deist. George Washington can be best described as a lapsed Anglican. Thomas Jefferson cut the miracles out of his Bible and created a shorter Bible. There's an amazing book called Faiths of the Founding Fathers by David L. Holmes that we encourage you to read. I've got some books given to me by authors in the Fam of Liberty, and I owe them a read-through and review, but maybe I'll get some free time to review David Holmes' book on camera for you. Christianity, as we know it, was deliberately changed and modified by corporate America during the last 90 or so years. This was done on purpose by corporations who hated Roosevelt's New Deal policy. Another book that we recommend reading is One Nation Under God by Kevin Cruz. Pastors at the time of the New Deal were fairly high on it. They liked socialism and thought that it was a good way to take care of the poor and needy as Jesus would. Hmm. The Christianity that our great-grandparents and great-great-grandparents grew up with is not the Christianity that we grew up with. So when they say America was founded as a Christian nation, they're missing out a lot. America was founded as a nation where many forms of Christianity and other religions are allowed to exist. The type of religion that existed before the white people arrived was in fact not Christianity. So when you say America is a Christian nation, you're ignoring that the people here before us and are still here and are still practicing their indigenous religions. You're ignoring all of that. Also, let's not forget that the Southern Baptist denomination, one of the largest in the U.S., exists because the Southern white Christians wanted to be able to justify their ownership of other people, and the regular Baptists were like, no, baby, that's wrong. Admin Doug, our new admin, hey, Doug, hey, the same Doug from Political Train, reminds us that the only constitution that mentions being a Christian nation was the one that was written when the American South seceded from the Union to form the Confederate States of America. Traitors, traitoring, traitors. Christian nationalists want to use their religion to control women. They want to use their religion to deny rights to and oppress the existence of gay and trans people. They want to use their religion to eliminate whole nations of people because they must be saved whether they want to be saved or not. Bye bye porn. Bye bye spicy romance books. You know who you are. Bye bye shops where you can buy marital aids. Bye bye privacy laws. Bye bye behind bedroom doors. The morality police are coming to take you away, ha ha, ho ho, he he, to the funny farm. 
And hello, complementarian marriage, where you can't control your own fertility because Christian nationalists have gotten rid of birth control. Hello, life where we all look like little Stepford robots because that's what the old white men want. We are fucked and not in a good kind of way. Admin Tim has a task for you motherfuckers, though. You are going to talk to the people around you about this. You're going to read and recommend the books that Sons of Liberty admin team recommended above. Information is the only power that we have right now, and we're going to use it to educate the chuckle fucks who voted for Trump because they wanted lower gas and egg prices. On that subject, I expect y'all to become preachy fucking economists who track the price of gas and eggs daily and tell all your Trump voting friends. Make a note of what the price is in your area and revisit it periodically once Fanta Claus, a.k.a. Velveeta Voldemort, gets into office. This is what the Republican majority has been working for for years, and they use Christians to get it. The Sons of Liberty admin team has been doing their best to yell this to the rooftops, but not enough people are hearing us. Help us amplify this. Yell to your friends and your neighbors. We need you. You can also just share this video and post it up on all your socials. Admin V also wants to recommend that you educate yourself on the Bible, particularly the New Testament and the words of Jesus, so that when some stupid, stupid pox on humanity says things like, Jesus said teach people to fish, as some bootstrap nonsense, then you can know that it is not true. It was a Chinese philosopher who said that. Jesus fed people fish without asking if they could afford it. A lot of fish and a lot of bread. Famous miracle and all. Jesus also said love your neighbor and take care of the least of these, but Christian nationalists seem to ignore that. Please excuse me whilst I go clean up where Admin V's head exploded. Obligatory disclaimers. The resistance starts with us. To that end, we've begun organizing local Sons of Liberty chapters by region. We're all doing all of this on the Sons of Liberty Discord server because social media CEOs like capitalist pig Mark Fuckerberg and apartheid Andy can't deplatform us there or mute or censor our content. What's Discord? It started out as a program for gamers, but if you're not a gamer, that's okay, because you can still get on the Discord, and Discord has a lot of different functions and resources. Hang out, shoot the shit, learn about self-defense and home defense, and arming yourself, team up with other Fam of Liberty people in your area in case you all have to start defending each other. Oh, and you can get updates from our social media. I do want to point out that our Discord can be ping-heavy thanks to all the webhooks that integrate our social media notifications, but you can disable those, and if you need assistance, let me know on Discord. The invite link to Discord is in the throat punch at the end of this video and others. It's also on the YouTube video description and in the TikTok and YouTube channel descriptions. If you like the shirts or the hoodie that I wear in my videos, a lot of them, but not all of them, are available in the Sons of Liberty merch store. I put up a lot of new items over the past couple of days, so go check out a lot of the new shirts and bumper stickers. If you like our video content, then we'd appreciate it if you'd follow us on all of the other socials, whichever ones that you've got. Yes, we have a Safe for Work OnlyFans, something something Big Sarge sex video. On YouTube and TikTok, we'd also appreciate it if you'd subscribe, like, and get notifications on our channel. It's a little bit of a different process on TikTok, but if you're on TikTok, then you already know that. You can help us extend our reach by sharing our video content on all of your socials. You can help us beat the algorithm by leaving us at least seven words in the comments section because someone has determined that posting at least seven words in the comment section is the magic number for the algorithm to decide that your engagement on our content is meaningful and that it should suggest our videos and channel to people who watch the same things that you watch. This algorithm also works on most other social media platforms, so if there are places where you follow other content creators, keep that in mind. On that note, if you watch this video all the way to the end, the phrase, I made it to the end, Big Sarge, is actually eight words. So if you can't think of anything else to say, that's just a suggestion. Two claps and a rick. Jesus was a socialist. Admin Tim 316 says, get fucked to die mad about it. Hashtag not sorry, not sorry. Woo! And now it's time for the throw punch!